In this video, a Python graphical user interface is designed to connect with MySQL server in order to process stored databases. A block diagram of the implemented system is shown here. The system assumes that MySQL is installed on a Windows machine and Python is used to write a program that will create a graphical user interface that will allow the MySQL user to enter a SQL statement when executed will process the database to fetch data and display the result on the graphical user interface. In order to connect a Python sketch with the MySQL server we need to have the mysql.connector python module and we can install this module using the pip install command via the windows cmd this example shows a, a python sketch uh, written using uh, visual studio code the first thing is to include the mysql.connector uh, module then we need to create a connection object and using method connect and through the parameters here we need to indicate the local host the username and the password next we need to create a cursor object using the cursor method this cursor object will include the uh, SQL statement needed to be implemented uh, within a string and using the method execute we will uh, include this uh, SQL statement in the cursor object then next we using the uh, fetch all method uh, part of the cursor method we need to get all of the records or the tuples from the database table and store it in this uh, uh, list here and then using a for loop we can iterate through the tuples and uh, display it on the uh, output terminal one line at a time as you can see here another example we have this uh, next uh, select statement which is executed and included in the cursor object and then using the fetch all which will extract just one record from the database table and display it on the output terminal the cursor object has four methods. Method fetch all returns all records from the table in a form of tuples. Fetch one returns one record from the table. Fetch many n will return n number of tuples. Row count is a property that returns the number of records stored in the cursor. As an example, let's say we have this piece of uh, Python sketch we have the cursor object here created using the cursor method and we have a SQL string statement copied into this string variable SQL and this string statement is a select statement select all columns from database students table info and then we use the method execute to execute this SQL string and then use the fetch many to get only two tuples or two records and put it in the list result and then using this formatted print we can display the results so here we have at the output of the terminal first two records stored in a list and you can see we have a list here which contains two elements each element is a tuple containing five elements now we want to design the graphical user interface that will uh, connect and interact with MySQL server and for this we'll be using TK inter module which is the standard GUI library for Python there are other libraries such as the ones mentioned here we can test this module using the Python IDLE by writing this simple piece of code import tk enter and then tk dot underscore test which will show us this uh, simple GUI demo GUI 
uh, to confirm that the TK Inter module is uh, working properly. In this design example, we want to create this uh, graphical user interface using TK Enter, which will have an entry widget to input the SQL statement. And then we have a button widget. When clicked, it will then display the result of the SQL statement on this uh, output text uh, widget. We also have a clear button to delete the contents of this uh, widget here. Another example here, which shows that the execution of this statement results in these tuples. Now, if the user inputs an invalid uh, SQL statement, then we will get this message to check the syntax. And now for a quick demonstration. So let's say we use the select statement to select uh, two columns from a table. Let's say we want to select the first name column or field and then select the GPA. Now this is taken from database called students and the table name is info. Now if we execute this we get all the tuples related to this uh, table. Now we can further filter this by using the WHERE clause where let's say GPA is greater than let's say 3. So we get these results. We can always clear the content. Now if the user makes a mistake, a syntax error, let's say if he gets, uh, misspells WHERE and we execute, so due to the uh, exception handling of the code we get this uh, error message invalid SQL check syntax. So let's correct it and execute. We'll do another example, another select statement, this time all columns from database called insurance. And the table name is called person. So let's try this execute so we get three records so we can see here we have the uh, driver ID the driver name and the address now we can uh, further filter this by using the order by clause order by let's say driver name and you can see that uh, the result has been ordered. Again, if you make a mistake in the syntax, let's say we misspell order, we get the same invalid SQL check syntax. Now we look at the Python sketch used to create the graphical user interface. We import the connector module and the TK enter module. Next, we create the connection object and then create the cursor object. The sketch has two function definitions. The first one is used to extract the uh, SQL statement from the uh, entry widget and then process the SQL statement and display the result on the output text field. The second uh, function definition is used to clear the contents of the text field. When the user clicks on the execute button, this function is called and executed. The first thing we do inside the function is to clear the contents of the output uh, text widget. And then exception handling is applied by using the try and accept statements. So first we will try and uh, get the contents of the, or the SQL string value from the entry widget and store it into this string variable. And then using the cursor execute method, we will uh, execute the SQL string. And then using fetch all method, part of the cursor method, put the result in this uh, list here. And then using a for loop, we can iterate through the list and display the tuples on the output uh, text widget here. Now, if the user inputs an invalid uh, 
SQL string value then the except will be executed and in here we will uh, display this uh, message here in valid SQL check syntax this part of the code uh, is used to create the GUI itself so these statements will create the window with this uh, title and this minimum size and then we can create the label widget with these specifications and pack it on the window and then we create the entry widget which has this name with these specifications and pack it on the window and then create the button widget and pack it on the window and then create the text field and pack it on the window and finally create the clear button and pack it on the window and of course the main loop method will enable us to visually see the window in a future video the graphical user interface will be modified to enable the user to add update or delete table records of MySQL database thank you for watching